and I'm pleased to be introducing our next speaker, who's Manami Yuasa. Manami is the British Council's Regional Arts Director in East Asia, and in this role oversees a range of arts and culture programs across 14 countries and territories in the region. Uh, Manami is a member of the steering group behind a recently published report commissioned by the British Council. It's called Mapping and Research into Arts and Technology in Hong Kong, Japan and South Korea. And the report gives a rich picture of the different ways these places are building dynamic arts and technology ecosystems and their main characteristics and where they're heading. Here to tell us more, please welcome Manami Yuasa. Hi everyone, good afternoon. I'm Manami Yuasa, a Regional Arts Director for East Asia at the British Council. I'm very delighted <laughs> to be here with you at the Beyond with our East Asian delegates, reconnecting with our familiar faces and also meeting new people. Today, I'm sharing a quick overview of our recent commissioned research on the art and technology landscape uh, in three Northeast Asian countries, Hong Kong, Japan, and South Korea. The region is not just a market, but also a creative powerhouse. Each has distinctive approach and to fostering innovation in the arts and creative industries. The research explored how Hong Kong, Japan, and South Korea are using technology to advance at their creative sectors and the opportunities that presents the for collaboration with UK arts and creative industry sector. So for this research, we have worked with Pop Consulting and looked into three critical, critical questions. The first, we looked to identify the main trends, players, and infrastructure shaping the art and technology sectors in Hong Kong, Japan, and South Korea. Secondly, we aim to uncover the opportunities that uh, these trends present for the UK art and creative industry sector, and identify who the key potential partners are. Lastly, and most importantly, how the British Council can support UK art and creative industry sector to access these opportunities and build sustainable connections with their Northeast Asian peers. Through our research, we aim to offer insights to support future partnership and exchange. I'm taking you on a journey to Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea to give you a quick overview for arts and technology ecosystem in the next eight minutes. <laughs> we first visit Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, a remarkable transformation is underway in the art and technology sector. Recognized as a major creative IP trading hub in the region, Hong Kong has seen a rapid development in art and technology, a priority in government policy in 2020, since 2020. The shift is characterized by significant investment aimed at expanding Hong Kong's infrastructure, capacity, and talent in digital arts. Efforts to foster an art world looking integrated culture and creative industry policy aligned with Hong Kong's global trading status. The pandemic accelerated the adaptation of visual, uh, virtual platforms for sales and dissemination of arts, with a notable uptake of NFTs, blockchain, and the other Web 3.0 technology, technologies. These advancements marks Hong Kong's progressive stance in merging arts with the forefront of digital innovation, presenting exciting collaboration opportunities. This building, the East Kowloon Cultural Center, opening shortly, is a testament to Hong Kong's dedication to innovation in the arts and creative sec industries sector. This state-of-the-art center is more than a performing arts space. It's a hub for cutting-edge research and innovation and development. There is an arts and tech lab equipped with advanced stage technology. It features a real-time stage tracking system, 3D projection mapping, LED moving light, and a suite of augmented, virtual, mixed, and extended reality tools. These facilities offer UK artists and technologists unique opportunities for residencies, exchanges, fostering a rich environment for creative collaboration and technological innovation, reinforcing Hong Kong's commitment to leading in the creative sector. Swiftly moving on to Japan, Content market, including music, publishing, <coughs> video games, and others, is the third largest in the world. And we see a landscape where technological innovation merges with artistic expression. The arts and technology sector in Japan has evolved through dynamic mix of public, private, and third sector efforts. Japan is home to high-profile research labs, which play an ex uh, essential role in advancing the country's arts and technology sector. 
and major technology companies play a significant role there. Today, I'm so delighted to have Chad Kunimoto uh, from Panasonic Excel Lab with us, offering insight into how Japanese tech companies collaborate with global artists and technologists shortly after me. Looking towards the Osaka World Expo 2025, we anticipate a global ground stage for digital creativity and innovation, signaling sustainable opportunities for global showcasing and UK-Japan partnerships. Japan's unique positioning in the global creative industry makes it an ideal partner for cutting-edge technological artistic collaboration. One of the case studies I want to share from Japan is X-Lab at the University of Tokyo, led by Professor Yasuaki Kakehi. Like many of Japan's leading R&D lab, X-Lab is truly interdisciplinary, combining engineering and scientific work with both practical and artistic outputs. Kakehi's focus on XR, projection mapping, and image processing has evolved into creative interactive experiences where the user stays in the physical world. With strong international connections, including links with IMT, MIT, Media Lab, and Arts Electronica, and ongoing discussion with some of the UK universities, X Lab offers opportunities for study and exchange and international collaboration for international researchers and artists. Moving on to South Korea, we find the nation at the cutting edge of global creative economy. South Korea's creative industries have seen a rapid growth, largely driven by strong government support and substantial public-private sector investment. The country's growing global cultural inf influence, from music to interactive entertainment, is underpinned by a strong digital infrastructure, including a nationwide 5G technology. In 2021, the Metaverse Alliance was established to help coordinate and facilitate the development of virtual and augmented reality platforms. Companies like Samsung and Hyundai and industry groups were working together to share Metaverse trends and technology, consult on regulation issues, regulatory issues uh, related to the Metaverse market, and undertake joint R&D projects. This progressive approach to the digital and cultural developments makes South Korea an ideal partner for the UK and international partners in exploring advanced tech collaborations. GOE Studio, a South Korean pioneer in immersive storytelling, is redefining the landscape of XR contents. Founded and run by Hei Won Yi, a leading entertainment producer, the studio has been aiming for global market and audiences. Recognizing that technology-based content can make easily overcome regional boundaries. The commitment to originality and global distribution position them as a primal partner for the international collaboration. These are extremely quick summary of research findings and swift journey from Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, and invite you to explore the full report available to download from the British Council's Creative Economy Team's website to understand the trends and opportunities and potential partners in three countries and territories. We hope that this insight helped the UK art and creative industry sector to foster connections, nurture collaboration, and their drive innovation with our partners in Northeast Asian countries. The British Council is here to support these connections, and we look forward to further dialogue with you. So, any, anyone who is interested in working with the, our region, please come to us. Thank you very much. <laughs>